Okay, so day two, or part two, I should say. Uh, window management and actually, let me change that to the capital I. Okay, lovely. So, uh, first things first, uh, I'm not going to be doing direct because I'm working across all three platforms, Linux, Windows, and Mac OS at the same time. I can't, I'm not going to be doing individual uh, backends for each uh, system. I'm going to be instead just using an intermediate, intermediate library of GLFW uh, to, to begin with at the very least, but I'm still going to abstract it away to a point. Um, so first things first, we're going to be modifying this, the main engine file to be, um, yeah, okay, that doesn't really matter. Actually, I, I want to modify the uh, editor down a bit. Terminal. down just a little bit okay so uh, to begin with I'm going to want well to mm, include directory which I believe will be what is it Maybe like um, the header of course be geo okay easy enough I want a bit of space and let's have a look at the documentation for GLFW on the side here um, okay so we got things uh, we got GLFW window Just kind of have it there. We'll see to make sure. Because I'm going to bet. Um, oh no, it does build. Oh, but I'm not even linking it in, am I? So, okay, let's just add a uh, function that actually creates a link. Uh, do the calls. Let's see if that builds. That does not build. That is good. I mean, bad, but also good. Uh, do we want to do it here? Yeah, we'll do it here for the moment. Target link library is going to... It's going to be private. Just it, and it'll be... GLFW3. Make sure it links up. Not quite. Is it just GLFW? Yes, it is. Runs, ends successfully. Okay. Hmm. All right. So there is GLFW window hint for apparently making it resizable. We have to set a couple of flag, uh, flags. A flag, resizable. GLFW. True. Does that mesh make it resizable? Otherwise, going to set P window holds. Great window. The function of width of 1280 by 720. Title is. Share. Okay, we'll just not share anything. Uh, we'll, do, we'll just leave it like that. Um, just make sure, check if the window I actually, yeah, it does create. It is resizable, right? 
Yes, even though it doesn't do anything. Let's turn this off. Let's make sure the resizable flag is actually required. Don't know what the defaults are. Of course, actually would probably help if I rebuilt it. No, it was already built. So I don't even need the resizable flag. Okay. Whatever. Don't need that. Waste of time. Uh, FW close. Hmm. Destroy window. That'll work. The window. We want to set. Uh, what's this? While running. FW pull. Events. This supposedly processes all pending events. Already in the event queue and returns immediately. Processing events will cause a window and the input call facts associated with those events to be called. Some platforms a window move, resize the menu. Okay. This is what Clang D is useful for. Gives me, uh, reads into the documentation and actually gives me this stuff. And also, actually, while writing, actually gives me a okay. Well, it did. It did a moment ago. I swear. I swear. I swear on me, mom. You left W. Destroy window. Yeah, it does give information. Or rather, I should probably get better example. You left W. Create window. It isolates. So if I do width. And change the height and so on and so forth. That is fantastic. Fantastic stuff. Okay, so GLFW, I saw sh should window should close. Key window. So while it should not close, because I haven't hit the X, loop through, pull the events. And then when it's done, it exits cleanly. Very nice. Excellent. I guess that's all. That's kind of the basics for that. I guess uh, now would be time for mice and keyboard, really. Or actually, let me check the documentation. There's a bunch of callbacks. Okay. Set cursor. Hmm. I have to set callbacks for things. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Let's see if we can do a mouse. Um, it's temporary, isn't it? Or back to for mouse input. We got is this an int? It's probably an int. Or no. What is it? Documentation says it's a double. Okay. And double of Y. By default when it starts anyways. Actually that's just Okay, so what we got? We got um, back two of the mouse position, uh, back two of the old position. Scroll wheel, back two, scroll. Uh, we have pool. Okay, let's just. Let's do position for the moment. Okay, so we got a um, uh, 
position call back. Double X position. Double Y position. And let's have a look. Okay, let's make this into a temporary variable. Um, no, maybe not. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Dfw set mouse callback. Hmm. Cursor. Cursor position. Oh, that's setting. That's getting the window. And then we'll get this. Ah, okay. Uh, so for the moment, time being, let's just have it like this. It'll be a global item. Now start position. Hmm. X position, Y position. All right. Add this IO stream include. That will allow us to quickly take a gander as to the position of things. Position.x. Position.i. I know this is terrible for flashing, but I want to just do it anyways. I need to increase the size just yes, a little bit so I can actually uh, click a bit more easily. Is it a window? Um, okay, window, that, that. Okay. Cute. Okay, simple enough. So that's the current position. Do we want to have the old position? We may want to have the old position so we can also have deltas. So let's, hmm. Does this have to be even? I can reinterpret this any way I want, really. And I might do that. Might. Okay, let's, before we do that, let's just get everything else. So back to scroll, scroll position. FW, window, start window. Looks like the scrolling is an offset instead. Let's do that instead. 
house dot scroll plus equals. Would I even be able to do that? Oh no, it's offset from. Ooh, okay. W set scroll callback P window scroll callback. So let's do dot scroll dot scroll. Okay, so it only takes effect. It's all okay, so it's just an um, it's only the last input. I guess it makes sense. All right, so that means it has. We're going to have to reset it every time. That's uh, hmm. Hmm. We'll just do buttons then. Do we know? Okay, so according to GFW buttons, that can be arbitrary. Hmm. I mean, there are typically only five mouse buttons, but there's also those crazy mice with dozens. So I can't make an assumption. Which, uh, let's do a set, a vector. I don't know about a vector, a set. Mm. We'll just do a simple set and we'll update it if we need to. I'll include. Uh, see um type I don't I've okay whatever it's not dying is it it doesn't care about you in thirty it doesn't okay standard set of released performance we need this the current state of all of them. Standard set 32 uh, buttons that are currently down. Down? Down buttons? So press buttons are those that have just been pressed, those are released, and those are the ones that were previously pressed and haven't been released yet. Hmm. I don't know. Be just So we'll do like button call back becomes for Jill FW window start to window. Int button int action int mods. So if action, so it's actually um, GFW, whoop, GL FW set, uh, cur not cursor button, mouse button callback. And, uh, let's make sure I got the button callback correct. Yes, I did. Okay, if the action is GLFW press.
what we're going to do. If if he, if he's pressed, so pressed buttons dot insert. Or mouse dot. Mm -hmm. Dot down uh, down buttons. Pressed, released, held buttons. Sounds good better. Held buttons dot insert. And what we're going to want to do is every moment, we're going to do like mm, pre uh, processing. Pre processing. And boy, post processing. Okay, so what? The pre-processing is going to do is it's going to do things like reset, uh, uh, reset scroll. Actually, yes, it will in a moment. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Pressed buttons because they're only pressed for like a single tick or iteration. So clear that and release buttons. That um, else if action is for release and of course it's basically the opposite and mouse dot almost these buttons be inserted insert the button and mouse dot held buttons dot remove erase 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 button. Let's just do press buttons. Mouse dot. It's just the integer value. That and that. So we pressed the beast and held. Make sure that they all hold together. Interesting. 
Okay, released isn't working. It's not being cleared. Oh, I'm not even calling. Yeah, that's why. Um, a pre-processing. Now stop post processing. Just for the moment, empty. It's on the wrong screen. Held zero two four five three. Okay, I got five buttons, six buttons on this one. What about this one? Oh no, that's just uh, sensitivity. Okay. So we'll just kind of cut that out and just leave that and this. Do, 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 do. Okay. At least we know the holding the buttons, but what about uh, do, do, do? Nope, something else went wrong. Maybe it's just not flashing. Oh, there was something actually there, wasn't it? Lost it. Pressed, released, pressed, released, pressed, released. Okay, yeah, so. Got all the little functionality of the mouse together. Uh, which means, um, hmm. What is, okay, so we want probably a few other things. So vec two of old position. Do we want delta positions? Not really, I can figure that out on the fly as required. Vec two, old school. Ah, actually that's something. Actually, no, I don't think I need an old scroll, but I do need the old position so I can do a delta of the position. Scroll is whatever the value is right now. So negative one. That was the issue with that one. So pre-processing. What do we do? We're going to just old position equals position. And do we need post processing? Mm, I don't think so. I was going to do like post processing, which I would do like the delta between the new and old position. But quite frankly, I could just do that on the fly when it's required, not now. And the same thing for scroll. Uh, what I do need to do is scroll equals zero, zero. I don't actually need these. Uh, maybe I do. What am I? Yes, there is no post processing. Not anymore. There's not. Okay. Okay, fine. Yes, 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 you're all gone. Mm 
So, for the window. Okay, that screw the window stuff. Just for the moment, we got mouse. We'll do keyboard now. Give them for the moment. Keyboard. Simple enough. Okay, how do we keyboard? There are two callbacks. Good key callback. I'm not even using that. She takes in the key. And code, uh, the action, and mods. And I got another one, which is for the character. Which is yes, uh, signed int code point Unicode, I imagine, looks like. Okay, so um, we're going to want a pre processing. Pre processing. We say Unicode char equals zero. Um, okay, so we just you need uh, dot Unicode char equals code point that gets reset every time pre-processing mm -hmm. and we've got the key callback which is what I guess do the same thing as up here where we have a bunch of sets. Um, pressed. Uh, mm. There are uh, keyboards have repeat, so repeat keys and set least keys. And then finally, down keys. So these three are given to us by GLFW, and then the last one is an inferred one, like on mouse. Or uh, down keys, held keys, held keys. Held keys. like we've got a similar deal going on here. <clears throat> um, action equals press. Insert key. Keyboard dot. Um, L keys is key. Or down keys, health keys. Uh, an 
next is the repeat action. Insert We'll just insert onto this table just in case. I'll see you later. Um, Question. All right, well, let's just see if we can do the same thing as the, for the mouse here. Pressed. Um, Repeat released keys. Ah, but I didn't set the callbacks, so of course I would do absolutely nothing. Do you like set a key callback? Char mods, I don't know. Let's give that one a go instead. Uh, okay, I'm not clearing out the table. Uh, not the health keys, actually, just the others. Okay. That's uh, not released, that's repeat. does not handle multiple repeated keys it looks like or should oh, only the last key is repeated Ah, 
interesting, interesting. Okay, so I don't actually need a entire set for that. Interesting. So that actually clears out a little bit. Don't need that. Um, he's still that. He's still pressed. So repeat key. Equals key. And then part of the pre-processing uh, pre repeat key equals zero. Now the Unicode if char, yes, get over to that. Not equals. I don't have any processing for this quite yet. Ah, yeah, see, it is different from the actual key. So if I'm pressing W in capital, W is different from yes okay capital w is the same as the key the lowercase w is 119 which is over yeah that's that's right okay so i'm not really going to deal with joysticks right now i don't think no okay so i got all of this nice and neatly away or here um <clears throat> Just taking a quick scroll through the documentation. We got that. We got that. Okay, we got a window size callback. Uh, oh, another one for mouse. Um, um, Cursor enter callback. It determines if the cursor is even in the window. Which takes a what? Just a Boolean. Okay. Processing for this in window. It's only for when it's entering and exiting, which probably means I actually do want to have the old window position as well. Ooh. Window. So I can tell if it's just entered or just left without uh, outside of it old in window yeah 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 Let's 
give the, uh, nope, don't put it there. That's a bad, bad, bad idea. Don't, don't want Curtis. Get rid of those parentheses. Goodbye. Now we're clean. Sorry? Okay, that doesn't actually... Of course this doesn't do anything. I'm not... Um... Hmm. I didn't even set it, that's why. Callback. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hmm. GLFW window. Bool entered. Int C API. No Boolean here. Okay. Hey, well, what if it just starts inside of it? It just, yeah, okay. Else, if the opposite. Otherwise, it just means it's always it's been inside or not inside. So I just want to catch the transition. So we start outside. Turd exited. Lovely. Okay. Uh, let's go through. Cursor position, cursor enter, mouse button, char key. Okay, the only other, th okay, so that's it for mouse and keyboard. The only other thing I can think of is the window itself. Because the window does have resizing. I'm not sure if want to like in build stuff around that or not okay is there okay no I do need I need to set like when a window has changed I need to alert the program somehow without hmm Okay. Hmm. Uh, start window, which is a type window. Sized. Set the false to begin with. Um, 
zero equals well the first thing that will happen in a loop is that it's these guys getting cleared anyways so yeah and the same thing for this so um void um processing is so resized equals false Iconify, maximize, monitor, da, 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 refresh. Should call set window. Oh boy. Resize. Oh crap, where is it? Window size. Size. Callback P window for uh, GFW window star P window. Uh, so I'm in use right now. No, it's. Double check it. Two ints. Okay. Um, window dot resized is true. We can just re grab the width and height anytime by actually using callbacks, using functions. Especially since this is an abstracted window. Um, hmm. Whatever. Yep, okay, that seems to work just fine. Okay, just to take another scroll through. Keyboard, mouse, joystick. I'm not really going to do joystick right now. What's time input? Yeah, we can get that through the C plus plus API anyways. Clipboard. I'm not gonna do clipboard, not right now. Path drop. We can do that another time. Okay, what's the first thing? Event processing, pull events, wait events, timeout. Okay, yeah, GLFW pull events. Okay. Now what I want to do is kind of uh, more official officialize these guys. Okay, if that's the case, I'm for window. I'm going to require. Uh, 
okay, let's just split them up. First of all, mouse, keyboard. So side, side, side. Grab copyright. Da, da, da. Whoops, do this. Okay, for the moment, we'll just put them in here. That's HPP. Of course, I put the mouse stuff in the window one. Okay, make sure those are all gonna fire off right. Get rid of unused parameters. Don't use that, don't use that. Let's uh, include this on all of them. <laughs> include set, add on on him, add on this one, and on this one, yes. I don't need it there. Okay, is there really? Trying to think as to how exactly I want to do this. Do I want to attach mice and keyboard optionally? Hmm. If I want to have multiple windows, what do I just want? Uh, probably just a single window. Okay. Just trying to think as to how to kind of put this into a more uh, isolated package. So we have like the create a window creation. The running of the stuff. And then destruction of the window. Okay, okay, okay. I can probably work with that then. So let's do like window. Something like that, or rather, whoop. 
Uh, of course, deletion on this takes forever. Wow. Okay. And then we'll put it into a library later. Um, CPP. Our HPP. Yes. Okay. We'll have like void. processing don't actually need anything public do we really Trying to think, I don't really see any of that as really being required. Anything else? Hmm. Let's um, it's keyboard data. namespace of stuff where we're going to put um, so these are going to be the public functions so these will actually go down like, up here whoops I didn't quite mean to do that let's get the window stuff back in my sanity here okay let's actually put this back just wipe it wipe it okay do I want to do multi-window do I really want to do multi-window do I want the hassle of doing that not really
perhaps if I focus on the window, focus on the window right now. Focus on the window right now. It'll be just like this. It'll have the very basics of what do we want for the window creation. Width, height, and the title. That's what we need. So one of like a was this a once flat? I want to, okay, what I want to do in the create window is do like a standard call once. Do I even, do I need to like uh, D in it? I don't think I'd need to. No, just uh, just initialization. Um, but in order to do this window, I need to Text. Standard once flag. We go H flag. Yeah. It's the opposite. Okay, there we go. So I call once and then we'll create the window. With the width, height, and title. Okay, we'll just put this in this place. The window is internal. That's not quite going to work. Do I need the window out here? Do I really need the window out here?
not really. space. So it's not in public area. Doesn't have to be. this already if this was just hmm. if Okay, yes, that is how we can do this. Eliminate that. It's going to have this stuff. It's going to have this stuff. Right here. Is that going to be public? That probably should not be public. Pre processing. Hmm. See this one. This is section. It's code blocked. That's yeah, simple. View window. Set that back to null pointer. Just kind of uh, put all this to the side for a moment. That continue destroy window. 
Okay, frickin' I'm putting all this in the header again. Stop! I gotta, I gotta stop that. Okay, these are the public items. So... These are the private ones. So, uh, da, 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 da. Are these guys all clear. These guys are all clear. Wonderful. Public mouse gets this. Yes. Position callback, cursor enter callback, scroll callback, button callback. Okay. Private mouse gets these guys. Except instead of that, it'll be like mouse that. Mouse this, mouse this, mouse this. That, 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 that. I'm going to change this up to be keynotes. And it'll be a pointer. Go. And it shouldn't even be here because it should be the CPP. Okay. But what will stay there will be the declarations. You, you, and you, and you. Uh, mouse. Okay, the implementation's being back here. Public mouse HTTP, we got that. And then okay, W like that. Public mouse having this stuff. Well, to be clear, it should be like this. It's C standard int. It's C standard int. That's what I was looking for. Yes. Okay, mouse, mouse, and then the window will include not that. Um, would it? I don't know yet. Don't get ahead. Do not get ahead of myself that quickly. Keyboard. Get the keyboard. Get the public keyboard stuff. Standard int. Include set. 
Lovely. No public functions. Well, he's public for the moment. He'll be changed shortly. Um... So on the private keyboard, we have two functions, key callback and char callback. And we'll put them in here as well for the moment. Declaration only, declaration only, the keyboard. Star P keyboard. Do I like that. Say struct keyboard. Mm -hmm. And then we'll also have keyboard pre uh, pre processing. Yeah. Keyboard, key keyboard. We're actually going to say, hey, this is how it all actually comes together. Public keyboard. And we include. Start here, you, 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 and you become that. Mm -hmm. That leaves window. Um, not quite. Okay, window, 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 there you are. So right now he's sitting in source. We don't exactly want him here. So window, star P window, equals pointer. that public mouse actually the private can pull in the public as well that doesn't even make sense sense to keep those separated. Since they'll be just pulled through anyways. And then we don't even need him down here. Just like that. Now the mouse, okay, we're now that we're here again, these guys will be pulling it through. JFW, JFW, 3.h. Okay, and then we go through with these guys. Window.
window resize callback equals just resize equals true in this case. Um, we have a once flag for this. Okay. And then we can start pulling in all the others, right? Almost. Hmm. This doesn't seem quite so wise anymore, but we'll just do it. <sighs> Yeah, we don't even need to do that. For the window, since we're already here. P window. Um, size callback. Like that. This was kind of pointless to all split apart, really. No, because I don't want to have mouse be a public thing, necessarily. It will be, always be a const if possible. And no callbacks. Pull it back from engine. What do we want? Uh, these cursor, cursor, keyboard ones, like that. These going to be in the private namespace. So we'll get poofed out of existence almost. this except it's much slimmer because instead it becomes like um, key key callback for and keyboard key uh, Pointer, key, scan code, action, mods. Hmm. This is kind of weird looking, but I'll go with it. Um, where's mouse? And 
mouse. Change that up. Mouse cursor position callback. Hmm, this is just weird looking. This function is uh, a const. No modification outside. Okay, engine, we really peel back a lot of this stuff. Do, 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 do. Get rid of that. We have oh, under processing. Then we'll have this, these guys right here. And then destroy a window. So key. mouse equals forget, um, mouse. Auto pointer. Pointer. The mouse that way. Key keyboard that way. Like that. We get rid of these guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's not what I was looking for. Public. Uh, I just need window. I only really need the one header as well. So move these guys to here. It's not a subdirectory anymore, it's just here. Don't need this. Um, we 
remove those guys. Very slowly. Okay, now we're stuck in, what are we doing? Okay, now that I have mouse return back. Public, window, keyboard, da, 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 da. window here, okay. Let's add these sources temporarily. So put as a separate thing, we'll say GFW, keyboard, GFW, CPP and GFW slash window dot CPP like this. Okay, well, we've got undeclared identifier. That makes sense. We'll do something like that. Void that. So uh, window processing will be these guys around just a little bit. Be GFW poll events. Uh, window resized. Um, hmm. Close the window at the front, except for those guys. Window okay. What was that? What did I need? Uh, Window resized. It's a boolean and simply returns resized from the local guy up there. Bring go down the engine. Do do do. Got that. Okay. With height really unused. Is it? Yes, it, yes, you're right. It is unused. What else we got? Expected. Yep, that's true. Crash. Yes. Yes. Window not equal null. Yes, that's right. The window equals that. Okay, that's actually something I'm not doing right now is Window event processing. Um, now stop pre processing. Keyboard dot pre processing. Clearing the setting and preparing. Entered exit. Clicking. I don't have scroll events. Keyboard stuff. Yeah.
Okay. So as to why I went through all this pain, the more easily compacted, just down to this simple stuff. Well, and the mouse and keyboard. So I can pro okay. Final thing actually is to put the keyboard and mouse pre-processing away. So we'll do like keyboard star P keyboard. And same thing for the mouse. Grab the function out. This, 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 whoops, almost. This, this, this. Okay, there goes that function. It just leaves this as a plain old struct that can be sent to the outside. This is already C++ because I'm using set, standard set. So there's no point in hmm, doing that, is there? Not really. Uh, for window creation. <clears throat> P window not equals null pointer, then that means we already exist, so return false. Otherwise, we go through all this and return true. The window exists. Yes. Oh, I finally got an email from them. Okay. Mouse pre processing and mouse pre processing and keyboard. There, but I don't have it here quite yet. Let's grab it from public. Public's, yeah, there we go. Put it here, remove that, remove that. It's P keyboard. Because this is actually just quite small, I'm going to just put these all these guys together in here. So we've got the keyboard. And then we've got the mouse. Mm, 
keyboard, mouse, and then these guys. Probably add a couple more uh, functions as time goes on, but that looks like a solid start. Now, now for the uh, interesting thing as to why this is split up this really weird kind of looking way. Let's do this. Well, actually, after we get it, um, really, redefinition of yes, that's because guard on this guy we need a guard on this guy License, 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 and license. Just leaves the only public function is this, which means we can now probably actually move, change this around a bit for the keyboard. All the uh, specific wording versions of those and matching the case. For types. Okay, these guys, these guys, you and you guys so these guys these guys you you and then these guys and then we got an extra what's this keyboard Now, finally, for the thing I was uh, doing about that, uh, which is <sighs> for, I'm going to create a sub library of just the window stuff. Now, um, I have to call it like, Okay, WSI. I'm going to call it uh, WSI for Windows System Interface. It's a sub-library of magicness. Which means we'll have a source folder. Have an include directory. Include. So, uh, WSI. Inside of there, we'll finally have... Or do I even, hmm, you know what? It won't be even folder. It'll be just fo, and then under there, it'll be wsi.hpp. I deleted the file through that again. I should not have done that, as usual. Okay, uh, these guys move down into source. Go, go, go. You are now wsi. Like that. This directory now goes away. Okay, we 
do this. Uh, we have target sources. It's going to be for WSI private, and it's going to be keyboard.cpp, cpp, and window.cpp. Or, hmm, okay, no, 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 one step at a time, one bloody step at a time. one step at a time. So we'll just do C make minimum required version 313. Um, it's just a uh, library of, oh, whoops. Libraries of OWSI public would it be public for the moment? Yes, uh, QFW3. We'll add uh, target code coverage to it as well. Subdirectory of oops. okay. Uh, we'll also um, include directories, which will be this one public of uh, include, which means uh, going back to the engine, it should now be includable via. Show me nothing because I did not change this to include that. Let's put that before code coverage. Code coverage should be last. Not quite. Not quite. Because, yeah, these guys are gone. I was not found because why 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 not oh yes first of all let's see, make this .txt. subdirectory of that and then down here we need to also include subdirectory of libs yeah, almost keyboard no longer has public keyboard it's just um what is it for uh yes 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 uses the same public header like that same thing here Close, but not quite. All right, all right, very nice. It's now a completely separate WSI. Window system interface. Keyboard, mouse, that. I'll add documentation later. Offline. This is so boring. Or even more boring somehow than what I'm doing right now. That's local. Yep, yep. And hold on, compile commands. Yes, 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 yes.
Um, it's a sublibrary, right? It's a static library. Okay, that works. But what if I do uh, build? Whoops. Shared libs. Of course, I'm not even. Uh, Okay, whatever. On dynamic libraries. Now that should fail. Or will it? No, it won't. Interesting. Running it's fine. Running it is indeed fine. Do I have window pre? I do not have window pre-processing either right now. Do 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 do. Put this in the same order, keyboard, mouse, window. Which is currently doing absolutely nothing. Just reset it with false every time. all to the right just really pare it down to just the bare few okay so let's make um USI. um Separate library. Can I fit? Yes, it can. Is there anything else without the. Hmm, okay. I could, do I want to put it in namespace? Or just kind of. Hmm, I'm not uh, Just leave it for now. Put that up and then let's uh, tr -tr -tr -tr. glass climb. Let's start up looking glass so I can actually. Uh, uh. Unless, of course, that my. Unless, of course, my VM decided to uh, crap out. 
host application seems to be not running. Okay. Oh, did it just crash or something? Interesting. It looks like it just ca it crashed. Okay, looking. Wrong keyboard. Looking. How do I restart it? How do I restart that which has crashed? All right, I'll do that next time. Listen, I can't quite seem to get my VM to show up on this machine. Oh, well, next time. Um. Uh, I guess I'll call it there for the moment until I get the VM and stuff back up. Cheers.